Hi, and welcome to Star Test Maker's video guide on how to do an update for your existing Star Test Maker software. You need a couple things to get started before you can do an update for your Star Test Maker software. First, you need to have an installed version of Star Test Maker currently located either on your computer or on your server at your school. Um, before you get started doing any updates, we always recommend that you back up your existing data. All of your user data is housed directly right here in the Texas User Data Star folder. So making a copy of this folder and housing it somewhere else uh, gives you an effective backup for your user data, things like your login data, your save tests, your user created items, your student data, etc. So always a good idea to back this folder up periodically. Now that being said, I also need a download uh, for the newest version of Star Test Maker in a zip file format. You can get that directly off the download link sent to your school when it's time for you to upgrade. So first, what I want to do is I want to do a backup of my Star Test Maker data folder, take a copy of this, and put it somewhere that uh, will save it for me in a secure location. Second, I want to take my downloaded zip file, and I want to unzip it. To do that, I right-click, hit Extract All, select a location on where I'm going to extract my data to, and hit Extract. Once I have extracted all that data, basically you have a fresh new program with all the new version data that you need for your update. Now you'll notice the difference between a new, the unzipped version, and your current version is the Texas user data underscore star folder. This is a new version that has no user data, and this is our existing version that has user data. So to get started on the update process, first I want to eliminate the other folders that contain the old data for Star Test Maker. To do that, I'll select each folder that is not Texas user data underscore star, and I'll go ahead and delete them. Now over here, in my new version of Star Test Maker that I unzipped, I want to go ahead and select all of the new applications and folders, copy them directly into the existing location of where I want my Star Test Maker to be residing. All right, we've copied over all the new Star Test Maker files and folders, and we still had our Star Test Maker folder here that had all our saved user data in. And now we've actually successfully completed the update process. All our links should still work off to shortcuts on our desktop or across the server. And when I launch Star Test Maker, you'll notice that the username is completely open so that I can use any of the existing uh, user profiles that have already been created and saved for my Star Test Maker. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us directly at the office at 1-800-930-8378. Thank you so much for being a Star Test Maker user. Have a great day.